Excellent stuff. So let's get ourselves ready. Nice grounded breath work to begin. Feet your underneath, knees under hips. Pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in. Now weight even through our feet. Just gently take the body weight forward, gently back. And just find that position. We are holding nice and your body, your center of gravity is sitting right on that cross underneath you. And then we're going to take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out. And again. Good. Nice knees. Start to bring the head and the neck in. So breathe in. Lift up. Breathe out. Chin down. Keep breathing in to lift. Eyes and chin towards the ceiling. Breathe out, relax down. So not forcing any movements. Just going with the flow, opening, closing those joints of the neck, activating the muscles, control the head and the neck. Using the breathing to ground ourselves, calm ourselves down. And on the out breath, just bring your head back to that neutral position. On the next in breath, we're just going to tilt the ear to the shoulders. So nice, uh, so I'm just going to breathe in to prepare. On the out breath, just bring the ear down to the shoulder. In breath to the middle. Out breath. Opposite side. Breathe into the middle. Always not forcing any movements. Noticing any tension, any symptoms, any pain. And the choice, choice of how far you move. Okay, to experience pain or soreness. Again, not forcing anything. All about pushing on, no pain, no gain, We're not looking for that, just understanding the movement is safe, working where we feel comfortable and confident. And breath into the middle, I'm holding there, breathe out, relaxing the head and neck. Moving into our shoulders, a nice breath in, raise up, breathing out and down, breathing to lift, breathing out and down. More. Down. Straight into the arms, raise the arms up with the in breath. Out and down. Breathe into the lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe into the lift. Bending that rib cage, relaxing the rib cage should we come from the side. In breath, open up the chest, chin to the ceiling, and the out breath. Down, 
vaccine. Good, in breath to the middle. Out breath, reach down. Down to the middle. Good, in. This time on the out breath, just stretch the arm over. Hold that position for the in breath. Hold for the out. And then breathe into the middle. The out, reach over. And then in. Out. Into the middle. And as you breathe out, just hold and relax in that posture. Excellent stuff. Okay, just give a moment so the breathing settle back down. Feel a bit tingling in your lips, tingling in your face, tingling in your hands and feet from the breathing. It's okay. See if you need to make the breathing shallower, a little bit more comfortable, that's your decision. We're going to do some rotation work. The feet come a little bit wider. Soften those knees so you're in this sort of horse stance position, like so. Okay, as you're holding there, you can breathe in, expand that chest on the out breath, take one arm round and breathe into the middle, and then the out breath, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Into the middle, last one. In breath, now breath is a relax there. A little bit of a warm up on the legs, a nice little there, sort of knee bend squat action. Start small, gentle knee bend to begin, and then slowly getting deeper. And deeper with each movement. Nice and there, good. Through the tiptoes, gently up and down. Last one. Down there, good stuff. Okay, 
and bring in some uh, resistance work. So pick up your weights, bottles or tins, whatever it is you're using. Okay, and we're going to sort of move up and down through the body. So we'll start down at the feet. So if you do the aim, top end is 25 repetitions. Okay, so you decide you do five, that's perfectly fine. If you're aiming for the 20, 25, just remember you're pacing yourself. Okay, so when you're ready, up and down on the tiptoes. And Twenty. And 25. Okay, so feeling your backs below the knee, calf muscles working nice and strong. So upper body, going to raise the arms forward in front, shoulder height. So this time looking at sort of that 15, if you can push on to 20, but it's okay. Whatever number you're doing, it doesn't matter as long as you're pushing and challenging. So when ready, arms forward, shoulder height, and down. Five. Ten. Fourteen. Fourteen. In. See that. So we stood. Okay, back down into the lower limbs. Again, similarly adding on a few reps up to that 25 repetitions with so squat action. Sink down. And back up, again, you control. If you're working on tens, that's absolutely fine. Try 11. Fifteen, then yeah, you're in control. Pause and rest if you need to. Twenty. And 25 there, fantastic. Okay, getting on to side raises this time. So, hands coming outside of height. 15 up to 20, and ready, off you go. Let's 
six. Thing. If you can, extra five. Okay, need to rest. That's good. Looking on the legs this time, so you're going to plant one foot forward, one behind, up nice and tall. When you're ready, you're just going to take the weight straight down the middle. Okay, so you're not coming forward, just sinking down, back up. We go 10 to 15 on one side, then we'll do the same on the other two. Thing. Good. And then switching your sides. Again, sink that weight down the middle. And up to 15. All right. Then fifteen. Good. Nice and yourself out from there. The shoulders condition shrugs, the palms forward. This time shrugging up and down. Up to twenty. Five. Ten. Plenty there, good. Hold trunk working together, so we'll roll, do our roll downs and we'll do some side bends before we go into our mat work. So remember that nice breath in, and the breath out, and just tuck the chin down. Reach the hands towards the floor. Yes. And then from there, around again, breath in. Rolling down. Going back, so building that confidence to actually flex the spine. Okay, so it's chin down, rolling down. Okay, if you've been afraid to bend and lift, building our tolerance, our ability to bend and lift. For three more. 
One. Excellent stuff. Okay, I'm going to put one weight out of the way. One put weight to one side, stretching side to side, and up to about 15 repetitions. You're in control, you work to your own level. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Besides. Let's go. Excellent stuff. Okay, so pop the weights out of the way. Some water, grab a drink. And then next position, I'm going to be down on the mats on our hands and knees. So get ready, put yourself forward. And as you hold that then, so just start that mobility forward and back through the pelvis. Rolling forward and back. Nice mobility of the spine. Really getting them to a full range all the way up into the rib cage. Down. Five, four, three, two, this one. There, leave your hands out in front, sink the bottom down towards your feet, stretching out the back and the bottom, the shoulders. Hold that position for a nice deep breaths. Okay, come back up from there, holding that kneeling position. Have a knee coming out to the side and then return and the opposite and return. So just change the angle slightly. This section and this section.
Good. If you're happy to, you want to make it more challenging, opposite arm and opposite leg. Uh, down to the side, knee to the side. Switch. Down there, holding hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Slow and forward and back through the pelvis. Bottom down. Good. And you can add from there, the board resting on the tummy. And focus on the legs to begin. So keep the legs straight. And then you can lift and down. Lift and down. Alternating the legs. There's muscles in your bottom, lower back working strong. Good. We'll make it a bit more challenging. Obviously, arm and opposite leg work together. So, left arm goes to the right leg, right arm goes to the left leg. More. Three, two, and one. And easing down there. Okay, do a little bit of work on the lower trunk. So arm position can change. In your beginning level, arms at your side. You're drawing up. To that upper trunk. Hands away from the floor. And down. Mindful not to kind of lift the chin up too high so you're not in this position keep the sort of neck nice and neutral and down so it's eyes are sort of on the floor feel comfortable and confident you want to make that a bit more challenging the hands at shoulder height You can challenge it a bit more, you can stretch them overhead. If you choose where you put your arms, side a bit lighter, shoulder height, medium, overhead, heavier. Okay. 
this one. And then that's down there. Good stuff. Okay. Easing into kneeling position. Nice good stretch. Yeah, sink the bottom down. Nice big deep breaths. And into the back of the boot cage. Yeah, can't come forward or down because your tummy's squashed in this position, but you're stretching out the back of those ribs, the muscles on the back. Bring yourself out from there, then you come around onto your side. <clears throat> Setting yourself up, Get your legs out straight, first of all. Okay. So, going to be doing uh, leg lift exercises, so raising up and down. And then we're going to do. So, Leg lift on its own, then we're going to pulse at the end. So we'll do one set first off. So we lift and lowering the leg, aiming for 10 repetitions. And on that 10th one, you're going to hold it in the air and pulse it for 10. And down. Uh, okay. Obviously, you can do five and five, eight and eight. It's up to you. You can do the ten and ten. Great. We're going to aim to do that four sets total. So we're going to look to do that three more cycles. Okay. Again, you need to rest. Just rest. Are you ready? Top leg comes down. Then you hold and pulse. There we go. So it's two cycles, two more. Just doing what you can. Pulse. Good. So it's three. One more cycle. And ten holding pulse. And there, good. You should be feeling a nice bit of activity going on around these muscles on the side of the thigh. Just going to soften the knee into that bent knee position. And we're going to just finish on this side with some rotation work. So, again, 20 is the top end. If you don't have to do 20, you do what you feel you can. Okay, so open and close. Okay, 
So you can see so far, can swap sides. First position, legs nice and straight. Support in that upper limb. And as I said, then so 10 left, 10 pulses, four cycles through. You do what you fully can. If it's five and five, eight and eight, doesn't matter. Okay. And ready, lift and down. And ten, hold and pulse. Next one. Right. Then again, hold the pulse. That's two sets. Ten pulse. Three, one more set, leg extended. Ten and pulse. And there, excellent stuff. Knee bent. We've been doing this before. 20 is the top end, anywhere in between. Feet stay together, just rotate. The knee open and close. Right. Twenty. Okay, last position and easing ourselves. Round onto the back. Just starting off there, just head and shoulders relaxed, bring the feet and knees together. Just that gentle roll side to side. Again, as you mobilize the lower back, you might feel some popping or creaking. Cracking, so the gas releasing or connective tissue is just moving across each other. Nothing harmful. And as you come back in, hold in the middle there. Just start off with some abdominal work. A nice right hand coming across to the left knee, outside of the left knee. And down, and then left hand outside of the right knee. A little bleak curl, so you get those tummy muscles working.
if you know we've got the opposite uh, elbow coming to the knee to make it a bit more challenging. So draw the knee up and down. You need to take some tension off of the neck. You can support the weight of the head through the limb that's not reaching across. Good. If you're feeling quite confident, want to challenge it further. So both knees up, across, turn, and the opposite turn. You have taken both knees off the floor as you relax the head and shoulders down. Hold the knees and the hands into the chest. Keep down. Similar to the mobility before, just take the tension out of the spine, just gently rolling left and right. And then back into that start position there. Just going to Move on to the bottom and the lower back. So that tilt to the pelvis, back down, rolling, pelvis forward and back. As it rolls back, it sends a flexion. As it rolls forward, the lower back goes into extension. Good. And then each time you roll back, lift a little bit higher. Nice big lift, drive those hips nice and high, and down. And a couple more. Next one. There, good. Okay, front to the hips again. And this time, just drawing the knee up and down, opposite and down. And level one scissors. Just thinking of my hip mobility, not too much strength needed for level one. Okay, so you're going to go into one knee in the air, both knees in the air, little pause in that position, one down, both down, and then again, so one knee up, both knees up, holding, one down, both down. You feel your tummy muscles working, front of your hips working. Might be a little bit of pressure felt on the back. You see the muscles that hold your legs in the air 
attach right onto your spine, so pulling on the spine, it's nothing harmful. I think you can make it nice and strong. You want to challenge it a bit more as you hold that position then, so knees are in the air, feet are in the air, you tap one foot down and bring it back up, and the opposite one down and bring it back up. So then you choose, choose the level you want to work, level one, up, down, level two, one up, both up, one down, both down, level three, as you're holding, knees in the air, you tap one down, return, opposite and return, four, three, two, and the last one, leave the foot down, opposite one down, gently side to side. Slide the legs away, just take tension up, front of the hips, front of the thighs. And it's just holding there for a minute. Some nice deep breaths in through the nose. Slowly out through the mouth. More. Okay, knees back in. Get your knees together, let the knees gently roll over to one side. Now just hold that position. Keep the shoulders firmly down. Get the knees as far down as you can. Into the middle and across the other side. into the middle, bring one foot up over the knee, and reach down, draw up the knee, so stretching the hip, remember if you can't quite get hold of the leg, then take hold of the foot and the knee, draw it up towards you. And you knees up down there, switching over, knee reaching through, bring up the other leg. Put a stretch there, bring yourself into sitting. One leg outstretched, one leg tucked in. Reaching down to that outstretched leg. And the back of the leg stretching. 
Wiggle of your nerves, you can pull your toes out towards you, that stretch the nerves on the back of the thigh. And switch on sides. Kneeling position. Go forward and back to the pelvis. There are some different sensations, but more tension in the tummy muscles, but you've been working them looser in the back, hopefully, in the, with everything moving as we hope it to. So hold in the middle there. Last time, just sinking down. Hands back towards the knees, bring your head up above the chest. Are you ready? Ease yourself onto your feet. Position yourself there. Feet back under the knees, knees under the hips. The ribs, it's a nice gentle side bend. Lengthening out those trunk muscles. Arms in front, little rotation round to the side. Through the middle, opposite side. Good. Okay, as long as your head feels clear, you finish with the roll down. It's a nice breath in. Chin tucked in and slide down towards the feet. Back into that upright position, finishing as you started. So, feet with the knees under the hips, pick up the roof, shoulders back, weight even through the feet. Nice breath in. Breathe now to finish. Well done. Enjoy the rest of your day.